Hi everybody, this is Danny Class. One of the wonderful things about playing the guitar is that we have so many choices and so many options when it comes to playing a note, to making sound. And one of those um, categories of options is this thing called vibrato, where we're able to take a note and make it move back and forth to kind of shimmer it. But even within that shimmering um, quality, we can decide on how strong and how wavy and how fast we want that shimmer to be. And of course, there are effects pedals and whammy bars that do that, but we can even just do that simply with our fingers and our body. And so that's what we're going to be looking at today, how to make vibrato with the guitar. So I'm going to start um, on the third string on the fifth fret, uh, just because I mean, it doesn't really matter where we are. But if we have a kind of a reference note, right, this is a C by the way, or I could play a C chord. But if we have a reference note, we can just, you know, hear the note and it's there, it's not moving. But the first way I'd like to show you to make vibrato is to simply move your wrist back and forth. As long as the tip of your finger, the one pressing the fret, is not moving. It's everything around the, the hand is moving. You know, how much? Well, that's up to you, isn't it? I mean, if you want to have a kind of subtle vibrato, you can do that. If you want to have a quicker back and forth vibrato, there you go. Just move your hand that much more. And that is the first option, the first way to show how we can do vibrato. And of course, it works with chords too. It's harder though, I think, but it's, it's possible. Okay. The next technique that I'd like to show you is you can move the, um, the neck in a circle and in so doing we're moving the whole instrument now. This obviously takes more of your body to do. You can kind of get your, your elbow in the action and kind of move it in a circle as well. or you can also shake the instrument from the neck. Sorry. Your thumb matters more here, doesn't it? To kind of make sure you've got your, you know, not a strong grip on the neck, the, the usual grip, but you're able to, to move the neck that way. And that's another way we can get a vibrato. Um, the next way I'd like to show you is one I stumbled upon uh, with this guitar, actually, because this is a short scale guitar, meaning the, the distance between the, the nut to the bridge is, is shorter than, uh, than a, a Stratocaster. This is a, a Gibson SG. And I found that I was overplaying it. I was pressing too hard because I come from an acoustic background and the strings are thicker. But in so doing, I realized that I can also get vibrato that way by pressing too hard on the note. So I'm going to show you um, the um, back to the that C. Okay, so there it is. And if I press too hard in a kind of you know up down motion, there's the vibrato there too. And this probably works with a longer scale guitar and even on the acoustic, it's just going to take more pressure. And if I go to a C chord and I press really hard and see what happens. So there you go, that's another option. Okay, the, uh, the next and the last option that I'd like to show you for vibrato is one, um, I'm not sure the name of it, <laughs> maybe some of you know, but what if we kept everything here on the neck kind of constant and we took our, our elbow, right? This part that's resting against the guitar and pressed back, you know, in a backwards direction and kind of in a way bent the guitar a little bit that way from the body back keeping the neck straight and you can get a vibrato that way as well it's more of a bend really but still so again i'm pressing back on this part of my elbow backwards Let's see if i can do that again so there's all these you know little um, techniques that you can use using your, your body and the instrument. I, I really like this last one a lot because it kind of treats the whole guitar, you know, as a thing to be, um, to be 
vibratoed with <laughs> to, to, to use because you don't just have to use your finger on the fretboard. Uh, you can use your whole body because you're using your body when you play the guitar and you can get that other parts of your body into the action, so to speak. Okay, and so the last one I'd like to show you, it's not exactly vibrato, it's, it's more of a bend, but you know, a bend and a vibrato, there, there's a lot of gray area there. But if we go behind the nut, right? The nut is, of course, the, the zero fret right here. And there's some, you know, some strings here before they get to the tuning peg. So what if, and I'm just going to, I'll switch my hand so you can see. What if we bent on one of those? And I'm going to be on the, the E string here, okay? And I'm behind the nut and I, and I press down. That's what I'm doing. Maybe your playing calls for that. You can do two strings at once, too. This is the open E and the open A, the sixth and the fifth string. I'll play them and then press. So uh, I hope you found this useful as a way to expand your, your tonal palette and as a way to expand your technique. And... Um, that you can use them in your in your compositions and your in your playing in general. So thank you as always for watching. Stay well, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.